What's that sound? Do, do, you, do you guys hear that? What's that deafening silence coming from the mainstream media press outlets? Listen, listen, there's a very faint eunuch whispering out there. And it's saying, don't talk about this fucking story. What story is that, my friends? Did the peaceful protesters of the Black Lives Matter movement, did they kill another 16-year-old? Did they shoot another 14-year-old? Did they kill another 11-year-old? Did they kill another 8-year-old? No, no, no. This time, they killed a white woman, right? So they've taken a break from killing black kids at this point, and BLM is now moving openly to start killing some of these who white supremacists. And the mainstream media press isn't talking about any of this. Over on Reddit, they will ban your ass if you make a thread about BLM shooting this woman in her head. CNN's ignoring it. MSNBC's ignoring it. This story will not be touched by any of the mainstream media outlets because it explodes this narrative. This narrative that the left keeps telling us, of, co of course, of course, all lives matter, you racists and you bigots out there. But we're not focusing on your fucking filthy white people right now. We're just talking about the black people. Why? Well, because they're being indiscriminately, disproportionately hunted by the fucking racist cops. Oh, okay. Um... But the Black Lives Matter movie keeps killing black kids right now. Shut up, bigot. Uh, you want to talk about this situation? This woman, she's walking by these idiots, these Black Lives Matter idiots. Uh, you Antifa tards and you Black Lives Matter idiots and you pussy hat wear. All of you lefties, all of you scumbag lefties who never seem to have to go to work. You're very interesting. How many checks is the George Soros Corporation sending out to you idiots that on a fucking Friday, you guys are always running around screaming and yelling at people instead of being productive members of society? Well... Here you got another situation. These BLM idiots, they have taken a corner of this area, apparently. This woman walks by with her fiancé and her little kid, and uh, they're screaming at her, Hey, you fucking white bitch, don't you know that black lives matter? Where's your fist emoji? Buy some of our merch! You need to buy one of our $400 Black Lives Matter gold chain, you fucking cracker, if you care about the cause. And she's like, eh, eh, you know, all lives matter. And they're like, oh, hell no, bitch. Oh, hell no. All lives do not matter. And they accost this uh, this woman and her fiancé. They, they start brandishing weapons. But the fiancé is a proud card-carrying member of the two-way, pulls out his weapons, and it de-escalates the situation. They back off. Well, everyone thinks that they back off. No, no, no. These hyenas, they, they back off, they circle around, and they close off these people. As they're walking out from under this bridge area, they shoot this woman in her head. Because she had the audacity to say, all lives matter. There you go. This is why the mainstream media press will not touch this story. They keep trying to tell everybody that, of course, all lives matter. No, no, no. These, these BLM and Antifa tards and you lefties, you don't care about black lives, which is why you killed an 8-year-old, an 11-year-old last week. You, you don't care about anybody. You don't care about gay people. None of your stupid fucking garbage rhetoric you don't care about. It's you listen to us. We run and shit right now. We, 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 uh, we fucking pirates up in this place. And don't you disagree with us or we will physically accost you or shoot you. And the police will be told to stand down. The mainstream media press will be told to ignore it. And we will be allowed to run rampant in all of these Democrat-run shitholes. And should you stand up against us, then we will unleash the media hounds of CNN, MSNBC, and their ilk to attack you and get your fucking arms taken away from you. That McCloskey family, those uh, that McCloskey couple that defended themselves against the same fucking mob out here uh, they'd be in prison if they weren't lawyers right now Th those people would be straight up arrested just like that woman and uh, that dude who defended themselves in a fucking chipotle parking lot a week ago see you defend yourself against these assholes and they'll arrest you unless of course you've got friends who are lawyers or you're a lawyer yourself then they kind of back up but take a look at this story over here guys we're over here at infowars.com Young white mother executed by Black Lives Matter mob for allegedly saying, quote, all lives matter. Mainstream media totally silent on deadly hate crime because, of course, it doesn't fit the left's narrative. 24-year-old Jessica Doty Whitaker was shot and killed in Indianapolis amid a confrontation with BLM thugs who were triggered when she told them that, quote, all lives matter. Quote, According to the victim's family, the shooting started with an argument over Black Lives Matter and language. Eventually, the two sides separated and walked away from each other until witnesses claimed the killer opened fire from a nearby bridge and then ran away, Fox 59 reported last Monday. Quote, 
It was squashed, and they went up the hill and left, we thought. But they were sitting on St. Clair, waiting for us to come under the bridge, and that's when she got shot, said the victim's fiancé, Jose Ramirez. So there you have it. No lives matter to these people. They don't care about white lives. They don't care about black lives. They care about political power. These are modern day brown shirts. This is the militant wing of the lefty party. If you agree with their rhetoric and their ideology, you're safe for now. For now. If you disagree with them and you say all lives matter, they'll fucking kill you. Right? These people who care about lives so much, I mean, they care about black lives more than every other life, but care about lives so much, which is why they're shouting about this and fucking writing it in the street everywhere. If you disagree with them, they will take your life. Because, of course, this is all bullshit. This is all weaponized propaganda and militarized by the left-wing Democrat Party. And we've got to call it out and call out their accomplices as well. The mainstream media is completely complicit in this. Take, take a look at this tweet. This is a scumbag, Michael Brendan Doherty from the National Review. He's, of course, a blue check mark, so this shit's totally fine on Twitter. And look at how he responds to this woman being gunned down by these peaceful protesters, everybody. He says... The upshot of this story is that a three-year-old learned a powerful lesson about what not to say. That's right. His outlet doesn't want to talk about this, but he'll go on Twitter and he'll tell you exactly what the mainstream media press and these lefty cocksuckers are thinking. Shut up. Shut up. If you don't agree with the peaceful protesters killing eight-year-olds, 11-year-olds, or white chicks saying all lives matter, you better shut your fucking mouth. That's right. That little kid just learned a very valuable lesson that you better get in line. You better not question the mob out there. The mob that just assassinated your mom in broad daylight, don't question them. They're right, right? Is that what we're doing over here? What's this guy's name? Michael Brendan Doherty. So, to the Indianapolis police and the cocksuckers running this place, do you have a few moments? Do you have a few officers? Do you have a few detectives? Do you have a few resources? Can you pull away the CSI department from investigating who did a fucking skid mark through your rainbow flavored crosswalk? Can you pull some people away trying to figure out who defaced the Black Lives Matter mural to say all lives matter? Can you pull a few resources away from that stupid fucking shit? And maybe investigate these Black Lives Matter thugs who assassinated a woman walking down the street? Is that too much to ask? Or have all of these left-wing shitholes completely fallen in on themselves? Who knows? Vote Trump 2020. Right? If you don't want your neighborhood, if you don't want your city, if you don't want your state, and if you don't want your country turning into a situation where the left will say it's totally fine. This little kid, right? this three-year-old just learned a valuable lesson. Don't question us lefties. You want to give these people more power? You want to give this mainstream media press more power? You want to give these lefty cocksuckers in Washington, D.C. more power? Oh, hell no. They're openly laughing that we're being murdered in the street by their militant wings. So get out there and vote, my friends. Thank you so much for watching the video and supporting the channel. If you want to be kept up to date, if you want to save this republic, hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.